How's it going guys? I found the secret sauce to making Gliscor a ridiculous setup sweeper and I'm going to share it with you starting now. With scale shot and swords dance, Gliscor can boost its stats to sky high levels with ease thanks to its natural bulk and Terra Water is great for defensive purposes and boosting our water coverage move in Crab Hammer. This thing can get out of control real quick as you're about to see. So if you like this Gliscor set, be sure to Crab Hammer that subscribe button and without further ado, let's get into the first of two games. All right, let's see what we got. So Bam's bringing a pretty powerful looking rain team with a Pelipper. Ludicolo is a threat. It looks like Delphox ain't doing nothing in this game. Gliscor might though. They haven't really got any Swiss swing users other than Ludicolo, so we can take care of that and we should be golden. But um, leaning towards the Raquinid lead because it's going to be really powerful in the rain. They probably lead with Pelipper though and they might Hurricane straight away. Um, Let's... Uh, Let's sleep with Cyclozar and just drop a Draco on something because nothing wants to take a Draco and then we'll just eject back out. I think that's probably the best way to go. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, bam. So they're going to lead off with Lady Elise, which is going to be the Galvantula, as I led off with Cyclozar because I figured it was a good lead. It just seems like it would be a good lead. So, uh, right, off the bat, I want to drop a Draco on this thing. I don't want it to sell up its sticky webs. Or do I already care? Um... I might go for knockoff because they're more than likely going to go for sticky webs, right? So if I go for a knockoff, that's going to be fine. I'll preserve my eject pack for now. As uh, they do go, in fact, for a sticky web, which is fine. And um, they don't have a ghost type, so I can just rapid spin these away, no problem. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I ain't about to have no sticky webs on my side of the field. They, they're going <laughs> to... That's not really useful. <laughs> they withdraw the Galvantula, which is fine. And they're going to go into what exactly? Poseidon. Who's Poseidon? The Pelipper. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. So... Gets the drizzle up, which is always nice. We go for a rapid spin, getting rid of those uh, pesky webs. And now we'll simply drop a Draco on this thing. I'm looking at that rapid spin damage. I'd say that Draco will probably KO. So let's go for the Draco Meteor right now. If they switch out and we drop a Draco on that, then, you know, Draco Meteor comes through. That thing's going to go down, probably. You lived on 1 HP. Lucky. As uh, we obviously eject pack out of there. And we can just go into our Pokemon to take care of this Pelipper. Now, the best Pokemon I have to take care of Pelipper here is probably going to be Ninetales to get rid of that rain. So I'm going to go into Ninetales now, just get rid of the rain, because I don't want that Ludicolo being all swift swimmy and stuff. Um, <laughs> so we'll go into Ninetales like so. Snow Warning comes through. And they go for a U-turn, which is fine. So U-turn is going to do no damage to my Ninetales. I just need an opportunity to get Gliscor in, really. Gliscor comes in and gets the Swords Dance up. Scale Shot going on ahead. And then we Terra Water Crab Hammer the Great Tusk. We'll be golden. Lady Elise comes in. That's the Galvantula. Now, I'm pretty confident. I can't remember whether Galvantula outspeeds Ninetales or not. But um, I'm going to go for an Aurora Veil anyway. And then we'll just go into Cyclozar. They actually make a double. Maybe expecting us to switch out. Or they want to get back into Pelipper. Yeah, that makes sense. So they went into Pelipper there, which is fine. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. Uh, Drizzle comes through. Now, I'm looking at their team and nothing really wants to take a freeze dry. So, uh, even though we failed to get the Aurora Veil up this turn, we were stopped by their pesky Pelipper. We go for a freeze dry here because nothing really wants to take it. So, Poseidon's gonna withdraw. What are they gonna go into to take a freeze dry? Not a lot, really. Lady Elise comes in, that's the Galvantula. So, Galvantula is gonna probably go down to this, which is good. And um, we go for a freeze dry. And that takes out the Galvantula, which is fantastic. So, Galvantula goes down. Like I said, I, I want to get my Gliscor in somehow. Lord Akun comes in, which is going to be what? The Latios. So Latios is an interesting switch. Um, we could definitely probably take a Luster Purge if they're not specs, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, so I'm leaning towards... if, they, if the, the prob They're not going to go for a Draco, obviously. If they go for a Luster Purge, then Delphox is probably our best switch. Or Gengar. No, no, get, no, Luster Purge is not a fairy type move, Jack. Uh, it's a psychic type move. So Delphox is probably our best switch here. I don't think Delphox is doing too much this, this game since it's a rain team. Um, so we'll bring Delphox in now. We're going to good old Blair. There we go. As uh, they actually end up terrestrializing, are they going to terrestrialize into a water type, though? That's the real question. If they do, or a steel type, maybe? Water. So it's a water type Latios, which is interesting. So that's kind of... If they go for Terra Blast here, that's kind of ruined my Delphox. But they actually go for a Calm Mind, which is good. So, Calm Mind is fine. Now, I, I want to get rid of its item. But, um, this is a tough one. This is a real tough one. Because if they've got a Calm Mind up. If they've got a Calm Mind up. Do we go with Ninetales? 
Now, we can KO this thing with a Raquinid. I'm not bothered about it at all. I just kind of want to get as much damage off as possible. It can stop as many Calm Minds as it wants to. Because a Raquinid's got its Focus Sash intact, we can just go for a Mirror Coat. So I'm not really bothered about this at all. Um, so they go for a Surf to take us out. It's fine. Delphox going down here is not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world at all. As we're going to bring a Raquinid in. And a Raquinid can safely go for a um, Mirror Coat, I think, here. So... We'll go with Raquinid. They probably don't want to get hit by a Leech Life or whatever. To be fair. So I, I don't think they'll expect the Mirror Coat here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have set up. So I'm going to go for a Mirror Coat expecting a Draco Meteor or something. Luster Purge. That's fine. That's also going to do a respectable amount of damage to us. Yep. Lowers our special... No, it doesn't. Never mind. Mirror Coat comes through. That's going to take out the Latios anyway. So uh, that's great. Latios is down. And that was one of the things I was worried about with uh, Gliscor. So it's not the end of the world that Raquinid was weakened. But um, it is one of the few things that kind of stops the Ludicolo as well. Right, Raikage comes in, which is going to be the Thunderous. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, I don't want this thing to set up a Nasty Plot, so I'm going to have to go for a Liquidation here. Nasty Plot, yeah. I, I, I kinda, I, exactly. I, I was expecting the Nasty Plot. I didn't want them to set that up in my face, so I just went for, straight for a Liquidation here. And this should take it out. Yeah, it does. So, a Raccoonid coming through right now, which is amazing. Thunderous goes down. Ludicolo comes in. This thing is an interesting one because it's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, we can just go for a Leech Life here. I'm pretty confident we can take a hit, but I might be wrong. So let's go for the Leech Life first and foremost. They go for a Teeter Dance. Okay, that's an interesting move. I have not seen Teeter Dance in ages. Ages and ages. If we break through Confusion here and go for a Leech Life, we're going to be golden. But unfortunately, we don't as we hit ourselves in Confusion, which is very annoying. So... Um, with that in mind, let's go for another Leech Life, just because why not? They go for a Bullet Seed, so it's a, oh, it's a physical Ludicolo with loaded dice. Interesting. So I haven't seen a physical Ludicolo before. I guess it can work. Because Ludicolo is not really, uh, very good on its offenses anyway. So it kind of makes sense. So uh, Bubbles goes down. The rain is going to stop. We are looking pretty good right now with Gliscor. I think Gliscor can finish off the game. I think Gliscor can finish off the game. So we're going to Toxicity the Gliscor. And uh, we'll Terra Water. And we will Swords Dance? They might go into Pelipper. I say we Terra Water Swords Dance. I say we Terra Water Swords Dance. And then go for a Scale Shot. And then just proceed to outspeed them. So we'll go Gliscor ter Terra Water. They won't have gone for a, a Grass type move. They'll have gone for a Water type move or an Ice Beam. Um, let's see how this plays out, though. Gliscor wants to come through, though, that's for sure. So we go for a Swords Dance real quick. There we go. As uh, his Swords Dance boosts are attacked shortly, they go for a Swords Dance of their own. Interesting. So they didn't Teeter Dance, which is lucky for me. Let's go for a Scale Shot first and foremost. Let's hit it. Yeah, we, yeah, we hit it, which is great. I don't think that's going to KO, actually. I don't think that's going to KO. If we hit all five times, it might. But well, we're going to hit four times, aren't we? No, we hit all five times. Nice. Nice. Gliscor coming through and getting a defense and speed boost. That's amazing. So, Gliscor coming through, which is a great. Ludicolo going down, which is double great. Mount Hemu comes in. That's going to be the great Tusk. They obviously don't realize we have the Crab Hammer, which is good for us. They're going to get booster energy in what? Attack, which is fine. Um, we know it's not a defensive one then. So let's go for a Crab Hammer and take this thing out. I'm pretty confident it'll take it out. Crab Hammer comes through. Boosted by Terra Water. There we go. Boom. Down goes the Great Tusk in one clean shot. There we go. And then we just have Pelipper to go through, which is absolutely amazing. This Gliscor set's really good for cleaning up late game. That's for sure. So there's the Pelipper coming in. Now, this is still a... Potentially bad situation because Crab Hammer can miss. It's 98 accuracy and so can Scale Shot. And Earthquake won't affect. So we have to go for a Crab Hammer. So let's go for a Crab Hammer. Boosted by Terry. Yep, there we go. We, we hit it, which is nice. As Crab Hammer takes the Pelipper right down. And that is going to be the game. So GG. Bam, that was a fun one. I did enjoy that. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> Glide score, yay. <laughs> All right, what's Cody brought to the fray? Oh, that's a powerful looking team. Bombardier is so cool to see. Hitmonlee is also really cool. Um, I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking we could probably leave with her to get the stealth uh, the sticky webs straight away. I don't know if a bombardier gets defog or not. 
But I don't know whether you'd normally run defog on it anyway. Lycan rocks a threat. Uh, I think we can probably just lead off with... Um, I don't see any problem with leading with Araquanid because they haven't really got much setup mons. So I think I will lead Araquanid to get the sticky webs up because they've got some fast Pokemon. They've got the Tauros. They've got the Lycan rock. Um, and the Hitmonlee after Unburden. So I think that's good to go. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Gudra, which is nice. So the Hisuian Gudra is a good switch. As they're wheeling off with Bubbles, um, which is not the worst switch in the world. So um, let's go straight for a Sticky Web. I don't see any reason not to. They might not expect the Miracle, so we might be pretty good. They actually go for a T-Bolt, which is going to do a decent chunk of damage to us. And we go for the Sticky Webs like so, um, which is great. They're up for good now, I think, unless the Bombardier has got Defog. They could be Rapid Spin on the Hitmonlee as well, but I doubt it. Um, you usually see an unburdened set on that thing, but you never know, it's Cody, and they do bring some out of the box stuff. So uh, let's go for a mirror coat just in case. Um, they go for an ice beam, expecting a switch maybe, as we go for a mirror coat. Oh, they were predicting the, ah, they were predicting the mirror coat. So now they're going to go for a Thunderbolt, because Thunderbolt will KO us. So that's a good play. Um, so if that's the case, we should switch out. So I'm leaning towards Gliscor, and then we can Terra Water Swords them. Oh, that'd be so cool. Um, but at the, on the flip side, if they're going to go for a Thunderbolt, I think maybe uh, Lone of the Ninetales is a good switch because we can get the Aurora Veil up. So I'm going to do that. It can definitely take a Thunderbolt. Can definitely take a Thunderbolt. So Vimto comes in, which is great. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. So we get the Snow Warning off, which is awesome. They go for a Thunderbolt, as expected, which is going to do a decent bit, a little bit of chip. No Paralysis, which is nice. The less hacks, the better. So let's go for... I'm leaning towards a Aurora Veil. I'm going to go for the Aurora Veil. I screw it. So Aurora Veil comes through. They're probably going to go for a Flash Cannon here, which might take us out for Aurora Veil, but I'm happy with this uh, trade-off. So Flash Cannon comes through. If they're especially offensive, it takes us out. There we go. So Ninetales does go down, but it's not in vain because we got the Aurora Veil up and it's up for eight turns now, which is great. So uh, now if we want to, we can go into Gliscor. Now Gliscor is in a very interesting position against this team. Um, the, the Incineroar with the Defog is definitely, a, uh, not the Defog, the Intimidate is definitely a problem. Um, our best bet is probably going to be Gliscor here. So I'm going to go into Gliscor. Toxicity. And I think I'm going to Terra just in case the Ice Beam. Because they might be thinking, hey, we can take a... I'm going to Swords Dance. I'm going to Terra Water Swords Dance. I don't think they go for a Thunderbolt. Um, I think, if anything, they switch out. So let's see how this plays out. So we'll go to Gliscor, Terra Water. Terra Water Swords Dance. Um, which is awesome. 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 Terra Water is a pretty common Terra type for defensive Gliscor. So it doesn't give anything away by going for Terra Water. But it does boost the Cram Hammer's power. So we go for a Swords Dance like so. And we are looking pretty good right now because we outspeed everything on the team thanks to the... They go for an Ice Beam, yeah. Ice Beam's not going to work unless they freeze us. No freeze? That's great. So no freeze is nice. No freeze is real nice. Um, They basically have to switch out here. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake or the Terra, one of the two. They withdraw the Gudra. Um, probably to go into the Bombardier, if I had to guess. Tauros. Tauros is a good switch. It's probably got the Intimidate, right? Yeah, it's got Intimidate. But we have Hyper Cutter, so we're not bothered about that. As we go for an Earthquake right now. And that's going to nearly take out the Taurus, which is fantastic. They are Heavy Dew Boots, because they didn't get taken out by the... Um, they could go for a Raging Bull here to break our Aurora Veil. But I'm going to go for a Scale Shot anyway. So we go for a Scale Shot. We do our speed, which is nice. As the Taurus is going to go down to Scale Shot, which is fantastic. This may be a Gliscor Sweep right here. Might be a Gliscor Sweep right here, you know. Bombardier comes in. Looking amazing. Nice and shiny. Oh, nice. I like shiny Bombardier. It's cool. Um, we're probably going to get hit by a big Crab Hammer uh, uh, Sucker Punch here. So I'm going to go for a Crab Hammer. Um, they go for a Sucker Punch, which is going to sting. Not really, actually. It did nothing. We have no defensive investment either, which is crazy. So <laughs> uh, Crab Hammer comes through. That's going to take out the Bombardier in one clean hit. That's amazing. So Bombardier goes down, which is great. We are looking very good right now with this Gliscar, I will say. Lycan Rock comes through, which is awesome. So Lycan Rock's here. We can probably take this thing out. If it's Focus Sash, we can probably take this thing out with Scale Shot. They might endeavor us, if not. So let's go for a Scale Shot just in case they're Focus Sash, which they probably are. So they go for an Acela Rock to get some damage off, which is fair enough. We go for a Scale Shot, which should... Ooh. 
It's a five hit KO. Can we hit all five times? That's the real question. Can we hit all five times? We hit four times. It lives barely. But we do get a speed boost, so we know what, we know they can't go for an endeavor on us at least. Um, so let's go for an EQ here. So they go for another Cellar Rock. We are low on defenses, but we're still able to take that like a champ because we're a Gliscor. And Glycan Rock goes down. I think I think Scale Shot Gliscor with Swords Dance is my new favorite Gliscor set. Like you've been using Gliscor completely wrong if you're using it defensively because this thing is a monster. In comes the Gudra. Now we can probably expect a Terra here, right? By the way, they brought it in. But is the Terra too obvious? I, I guess we could go for a Crab Hammer just predicting the Terra. I'm going to go for the Crab Hammer predicting the Terra. Um, they don't Terra. They were bluffing. So I fell for the bluff. That's unfortunate. Crab Hammer does a nice little bit of damage though. And they go for a Thunderbolt which takes out Gliscor. So Gliscor did really well taking out a lot of their team. Three of their team already gone. And this thing's weakened by the Crab Hammer as well which is fantastic. So with Gliscor down and out... Um, we don't really have much of physical presence to take on this uh, Gudra, so that's terrifying, to say the least. Um, the Aurora Veil wears off as well. What's our best bet here? Probably going to be the Cyclozar into Drake and Meteor. I would say. I think Cyclozar, Drake and Meteor, Eject Pack into Delphox. I think that's what we should do. So we'll go Motorola. No, into a Raquinid, sorry, into a Raquinid. So we'll go for the Drake and Meteor here. If they switch out, which they obviously don't, then we're going to get a free Draco Meteor off, which doesn't do much damage. And then we get an Eject Pack into a Raquinid, sack it off, and then we go into Delphox and set up a Nasty Plot. I think that's the way to go forward here. So um, let's go Raquinid now, let it go down to a Dragon-type move, or unless they went for Ice Beam, of course. Um, so there's a Raquinid coming through. They do go for an Ice Beam, which is going to take us down a little bit. Not too much, though. And uh, we have got the sticky webs up, so the hit on Lee is going to be slow, even after the Unburden, if it is Unburden. So let's go for a... Let's just go for a Liquidation just in case. Yeah, Liquidation just to get a bit more chip damage off. Gudra is going to take some damage. Thunderbolt comes through. And now we can probably take this thing out with Gengar. Now, the, the problem we've got is the Incineroar. The Incineroar is a tough opponent to deal with. Um, Incineroar is a tough cookie, that's for sure. We're going to go into our Delphox. I think Delphox is a good one. So let's go for a Flamethrower to KO this thing. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower to KO this thing because they probably go Incineroar, right? They actually stay in, let Gudra go down. Yeah, Gudra goes down to the Flamethrower, which is nice. So Delphox gets a KO, which is cool. We've got Hitmonlee, which we can take out with Psychic. And we have Incineroar. So Incineroar comes in, as you would expect. Nice and shiny as well. I'm not a big fan of shiny Incineroar, to be honest with you. Just not a big fan. Um, let's go ahead and switch out. So I'm, I'm leaning towards Cyclozar because Knockoff won't KO us because of the fact that we haven't got an item. So I'm going to go into Cyclozar now and we'll just drop a Draco. So we withdraw Blair. We withdraw Blair. And we're going to Motorola. And looking at the team, I'm trying to figure out what this Incineroar is going to be. So it goes for a Knockoff, which doesn't KO us because we haven't got an item. It wouldn't have KO'd anyway. We just drop a Draco here, right? So we drop a Draco. No damage. They're definitely specially defensive, which is what you usually see on Incineroar. They go for another knockoff. That's fine. It's going to take us out this time. So high roll, low roll. So if we assume... Hmm. I think our best bet is Gengar. I think we need to trick it, lock it into knockoff, and then get the cursed body. I think that's what we need to do. So we'll go into Gengar now. Or is it? No, we don't need to trick it. We just need to sludge bomb it. Because the cursed body will work anyway. So let's go for a sludge bomb. A uh, sludge bomb comes through. It's going to do a nice little bit of chip. Poisons them as well, which is fantastic. That's to be expected from sludge bomb. A nice 30%. They go for a knockoff. Let's see if we can get a cursed body here. That's what we need. Yeah, cursed body. There we go. So cursed body's got a pretty high activation rate. So getting the cursed body there is huge. Because it means now we can go into De Delphox and we can set up nasty plots. Which would be amazing. So um, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go for the Delphox Nasty Plot. Because they, they're, they're not allowed to go for a knockoff now. They are weakened as well. So let's go for the Nasty Plot real quick. Nasty Plot comes through. They've probably gone for like a parting shot or something. I don't think they would have Darkest Larry and knockoff. They go for a Fire Punch, which isn't going to do much damage. 
which is great. The poison's going to take into effect, so now we can go for a flamethrower and KO this thing no problem. I think we could have anyway, after a nasty play, even if they weren't poisoned. So, flamethrower comes through, and Delphox claims another soul with Incineroar going down, which is fantastic. So, now we just got the Hitmon Lee, and the Hitmon Lee could be a problem. If it's fake out with normal gem and then earthquake, we're kind of boned. So, Hitmon Lee comes in. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. Gets caught in the sticky web, which is great. And now we simply go for a Psychic, I guess. They are White Herb. Ah. So the White Herb ooh, recovers their speed and then gives them Unburden as well. Let's go for a Psychic. They go for an EQ. Can we live this? That'd be great if we could. We don't, and the Hit only wins the game. So GG Cody, that was a fun one. Nice W for Cody right there. That, that, um, that him only saving that to last there was definitely the best play that you could do. That, um, that, that white herb recovering the speed and then unburden activating after that. Amazing. Anyway, GG Cody. Yep, this Glyasco moveset is my new favorite way to use this Pokemon. Anyway, that's the lot. Feel free to try the team out. And with that being said, I'll catch you in a bit.